Hello and welcome. Silver is here with Star Citizen. And it is time to talk about the Legatus pack. This thing right here. Now, first of all, before I start, I cannot verify this myself. Uh, so if anybody wants to verify the um, following thing in the comment section below for me, I would be grateful. Thanks for you for that. Anyway. What I'm talking about is that apparently there is a 404 error page. If you are trying to load this package, if you have not already pledged at least $1,000 or whatever the euro equivalent is, um, into Star Citizen. Mine is over that. I pledged a little bit over 1k. Um, and as such, I cannot verify that. If you could verify it for me, I would be grateful. Anybody who wants to do that in the comment section below. Now, let's talk about this whole leg of this pack. 30k euros. This is, uh, I believe it was uh, $27,000 uh, when I first looked it up. I, I believe it was $27,000. This is obvious with the uh, uh, VAT and everything else uh, added, added in for Europe. So, yeah. Squadron 42 is currently under development. It's currently available to download and play. Alright. So anyways. Anyways, anyways. Anybody who watches my channel knows that I am honest with my opinions of things I like, things I dislike. I dislike this a lot. Um, original goal for Squadron 42 way back in 2012, uh, when the Kickstarter went live, was 500k. With Star Citizen as the stretch goal. Ow. Like, really? 30,000. Alright, I'm, I'm going to uh, scroll through all this this whole ship package thing and, and talk about that as well in just a moment. But in all honesty, this Kickstarter project has raised so many times over that 500k. They really shouldn't need to do this. At all. At all. I am like no. This this is this should not be happening here. Alright, this is ridiculous. Okay. Anyway, let's talk about the uh ships in this because it's over a hundred vessels from every noteworthy manufacturer of note. Perfect collection. This is bull crap. Perfect collection, this is bull crap. Uh, it's a nice marketing page here, and I will talk about that in while I scroll through all this. First of all, yeah, you, you get big ships in this. You get a Javelin, you get Idris, uh, 890 Jump, and so on. How many different versions of Avenger did you actually need? Like, seriously? How many different versions of Avenger did you need? Um, how many different uh, versions of Gladius did you need? And if you get Saber, Edge is Saber, uh... Why, why, why would you need Gladius? Um, okay. Let's scroll some to, to down some more. How many different Vanguard variants did you want? Again, uh, how, how many did you need? Like, if you, if you have Vanguard, why do would you need a Saber? If we are talking about pure gameplay effect of these ships, this is a completely useless package to basically everybody. Um... How many different versions of Hornet did you want or need? Because you don't. If you buy this uh, setup of 100 ships, you get so many different variants of the same ships that you're just not gonna fly one, uh, once and whenever the game actually goes live. You're just not going to fly most of them. You're going to find the one uh, variant of the Avenger which you actually enjoy and you're going to fly that. Alright? You're not going to fly all of the damn things. There, there is so many uh, problems with the fact that like, if this, if this package was much lower in price, so that it was a very good deal, and instead of having all the variants like this, what it allowed you to do is pick one of each, pick one variant from, for example, Avenger. 
So you could pick a stalker, a titan, a titan renegade, or a warlock. You could pick um, one of the hornets. And you could pick one of the other things. You could pick one of the mustangs. Um, that would make more sense, suddenly. Because then you would have a useful pile of ships. Because you could go, okay, uh, I want the racing ship in here. So I'll grab Mustang Gamma. And then I want a, um, I want my Cutlass to be some kind of a, uh, Polish shab. So I'll go and pick up Cutlass Blue. Um, and then I want my Freelancer to be some kind of a transporting thing, so I'll grab the basic Freelancer. But now you get all the different Freelancers, and which one of these are you going to fly again? Like, why would you fly Freelancer MIS? Or, or freelancer over freelancer max exactly why would you do that this is silly this is ridiculous this is pointless and unfortunately anybody who um you know disagrees with me you're welcome to disagree with me that's what i want to say uh of course if you want to throw money into this and you have the money to burn go right ahead i'm not stopping you I'm just saying that this is not worth your money. As a package, this is not your, worth your money. You are much better off buying individual versions of the ships you actually want to fly. How many Auroras did you want again? I mean, grab an Aurora Ellen, Aurora CL, like one of those? You don't need all of these other ones. If you just, you know, want a certain or want an Aurora. You don't need all of the Auroras. Yeah. And then also contains all of these other uh, weird things which you get with ships. Like, really? Whatever. So yeah, um, frankly, my honest opinion at the very end here, if it wasn't clear enough, this is not at all worth your money. Uh, Star Citizen has raised enough money that if they need the money they might maybe get from some people uh, pledging in this mass package, um, then they have done even more uh, horrible decision making with how they have spent their acquired money to develop this game, or I should say games, because Squadron 42 and Star Citizen are two different products, um, that frankly, we're probably not seeing either of them eventually, even. Because if this money is needed now still for the production. Anyway, um, thank you very much for watching this rant, ramble, and whatever else opinion piece. In my opinion, this is not worth your money at all. And if uh, the fine folks at RSI, at uh, Cloud Imperium Games, and the awesome developers, nothing personally against you, this is just a really bad idea. Uh, if you want to redo this package, my idea is to uh, make sure that it is cheaper than buying them individually, like a lot cheaper, and make it so that uh, you get to choose one of each type. For example, pick an Avenger, and you can pick one from all the Avengers, and then make that into a package. Anyway, Thank you very much for watching.